I have no idea what to expect. I've never done something like this. It's kind of the calm before the storm, if you will. I'll definitely have a different perspective of water, of myself, my mental toughness after today. I am Master Sergeant Joshua Harder. I've been a SEER specialist for 19 years and I currently work here at Fairchild Air Force Base. This is part of the initial training for any air crew that we deem are high risk of isolation. So these guys are gonna run them through the ringer in the pools. Y'all are professional swimmers, you're gonna be fine. Their ability to get into a raft and survive out there needs to happen quickly. When you go to parachuting, they're are sky people mm -hmm. and know everything about the air. They'll hook you up and let you go through the motions on what it'd be like to egress an aircraft and hopefully successfully <laughs> land yes. somewhere. Okay. Well, I think you guys are in for a treat today. What we do here at Fairchild, the first thing that you learn when you're getting to airborne school is how to land, all right? Landing is not just falling over. Landing is hitting what's called your five points of contact, which is listed like all throughout this room. So I'm gonna make this nice banana shape, and at that point, all we're doing is we're gonna hold it, and you're gonna fall over. So I'm gonna hold this, and then execute all five points of contact. Right? Yep, move, moving, moving this way, right? You're just gonna fall over, kick your legs. Yep, kick your legs up and over. You're a little taller, so you got a little ways to go, right? Up and over. You just kind of got to roll with it. it. That is absolutely right. You just got to roll with it, right? Falling on land? Not easy. Not easy because one, I mean, I don't know who likes to fall. I know I don't. Ready? So you're prepared to land. Land. Once you commit to jumping out of the plane, There's you're no also axis. committed to the, the falling and the landing piece because if you do, you can't do one without the other. There, that's a combo deal. Yeah. yeah? That was better, right? Yeah, did you hit your head? No. No, all right, then I'd, I'd call that a success. Yeah. No, I'd say we're level one yeah. bowlers. Zach and Natalie, when they walked up, I knew that they were, they were fit, right? And they had gone through stuff, whether it was with their own training, I thought it was really neat with their, their attitude towards this. Like they, they just went ahead and did it, and they were hungry, they had questions. I liked seeing that. And if that's how all competitive swimmers are, then I think that they would, they would do well. So this is gonna be my, my inputs and my steers. So what ends up happening is we'll get out, we'll check our canopy, we'll fix any malfunctions that we have, we'll then see what the wind is doing to us. We'll when I went into the simulator, I think my first thought was just not overthinking it, doing exactly what he just told us. It's not that it's not rocket science, but it is very simple things. And the conditions will change, and I think that's kind of how we approach swimming. And we're gonna find a nice landing spot. If you look to your left, there'll be a stadium. We're in the simulator, it's like, pull your left hand down, that's pretty much what he was asking you to do, or right hand down, and nothing, and also it was set to easy, so we couldn't be bad at it. No, um, but you could though. You could be bad at it, yeah, <laughs> but I was like, that wasn't an option for, for us. It's like, oh, I can pull my left hand down. There you go, now let us. That's what made me fast at swimming was fundamentals, and that's what makes probably these guys successful is start with the fundamentals, and then you start having the layers of complexity. SEER or Special Warfare Support, you're going to have to swim, you're going to have to have to be in shape, and I think swimmers have that. I think a swimmer, especially an Olympic swimmer, uh, is going to crush our water survival course. I think the only challenge that they might have is maybe going through the dunker.
uh, you're tied in, so it's going with you. I'm excited to put this all together. 